right now. I believe we are recording. We are live. This is uh, going to be a show uh, with my friend, Judith. And we are going to be talking about Peak D. A lot of the show will be with a, uh, a, a screen share of, of what's going on. The, the purpose of this, yesterday I was talking to my friend here, and we were talking about the site that I helped create, peakd.com. Peak She's like, well, I should give it a shot. And I was like, oh, okay, this is a perfect opportunity. You've never used it. Maybe you've seen blogs, posts that I put onto Facebook, but otherwise you've not used it. You don't have an account. What would be really helpful to me and maybe to other people watching here is that I could answer a bunch of your questions and we could go through that initial first user experience together. So the objective that I stated was, hey, write down, did you write down or just try to remember? You actually wrote down? A little bit of both. <laughs> okay. So she'll remember some things, then she has some things write down. So it was frustrations so that I can look through them and maybe help fix them and help design the site better to be less frustrating. And any questions? Now, these are also questions that she just like, oh, I answered them. So maybe there was a short period of question. They still help us. And then questions that she still has. So we're going to go through that experience. This is my face. This is Judith. Go ahead and say hi. Hi. <laughs> so do you want me to start from scratch or do you want me to log into the account I made yesterday? Um, oh, good question. Good question. If we were live, we could. I can, I can create a new one and then tell you the things that I ran into while I was trying to create my profile. And all that. Okay. Um, uh, let's let's go through a portion of the login experience, the creation experience, and then at okay. some point just switch over to the account that you created. So we don't actually have to create that new account. And okay. We'll skip that process. And just all right, that it. works. Okay. So go ahead and take the reins with the share screen and walk us through a little bit. And um, maybe I'll try to mute my mic at times so I can type um, some notes as well. Or I could re-listen to it and type notes. We'll see. We'll see how perfect right. you are and how much information you have for us. All right, here comes my screen. Okay. All right, um, and I'll be walking through maybe a little bit at times what's going on here. So she is on the peakd.com or peaked. Really, we don't mind how people say it. Peaked.com, peakd.com. We'll see. I was wondering about that. Okay. <laughs> that was one of your questions, or you're just wondering. That was one of my questions. How do I pronounce this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Answered. Okay. I wonder if it remembers. Why is there four, op four options? Okay, why is there four options? Because um, there are. <laughs> there I think yesterday, yesterday I did it on my phone and I think it, it only had these two. Yes, so this thing on the top, um, good point. So one of the first things is, is that's one option on the top and it doesn't actually tell you the name of that option. That option is called keychain so we don't actually have the word keychain up there so um thanks for pointing this out uh, where am i going to write this okay we don't actually have the name chain listed we're sign in so that would require you to install you're on a laptop now so yesterday you were saying your experience was on on a phone, on a phone. Um, and yeah. so I think I just went with the first option yesterday. Okay. But, but now let's go back to pretending that you were signing up and go through that experience and then we'll jump to this. Um, okay. So instead of login, I do sign up. Uh, grab your username. Okay. 
Like, I feel like most people would be like, yeah, yeah, username, password, the usual, right? Okay. So I, I, I was reading all of this yesterday because I felt like, okay, here we go. Like, you know, I'm going to get informed on this. I was reading all of it. And it kind of had some terms in there. I'm like, I'm not sure what that means, but I'll figure it out on the way. Like, okay. I wasn't, I heard you use the word. Yeah, I'm sorry. I've heard you use the word blockchain a few times, and I know you've tried to explain it to me before. And I think I was like, I think I kind of get it, but I think I would understand it more. Okay. If, so if I'm using something that I already think of, each account, each new peak D account, each new. Each new peak D user must have a Hive blockchain account. We what is, is what is Hive? Is Hive another program? It's a name of a blockchain. Hive is a block. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That uses Hive. The username will be used for every application. Okay. Okay, I've got some uh, new things to change that that I think should help. Thank you. Okay, and then it says verify identity with Hive on board, which I'm just gonna assume is another program or feature. Yeah, okay, good. Does That's what it is. A quick, does a quick check to make sure you are real and allow you to create. Uh, I'm going to save the story password in case. Okay, so I thought when I read this yesterday, is it gonna do like, make you take a screenshot or something like they do in some apps? where they verify your identity because I don't know how otherwise was that just with the link in an email I don't know how I don't remember how I had to verify it I think I ended up just doing okay. username name or a password I'm not sure if I noticed it okay start using so awesome if we were to say hive on board does a quick um sms verification oh yeah Maybe, yeah, because then you understand how they're going to, but that's true, they did, they did send an SMS, yeah, so, oh, okay, so that was the verification. Okay, I'll change that wording. Okay, start using awesome, what do you call them, D apps or DApps, or is that, am I free again to choose? <laughs> call it awesome decentralized application, applications, and then in parentheses, DApps, so some words we have to just start introducing to the common public right because it's not a word that most people would know but we kind of have to just start introducing it but applications yeah. people recognize yes so i figured this was like pd the apps i thought maybe it was a play with words there but mm -hmm. i figured it was okay so now I'll start finding your uh okay so this is where yeah and go ahead and just try a different one and we just won't finalize it right so just sure so put my name is that going to be used already probably right so yeah, you can try so, it oh, invalid should start with a letter oh i'm pretty sure this is a letter <laughs> capitalized okay so we have to tell people oh cannot be capitalized okay this one's not available okay I'm just going to put my second name in there. There we go. Start checking his name. Oh, okay. Is that too much? Did it not work? Sorry. No. I was writing a suggestion. Okay, well, let's try my other middle name. Hmm. Error checking username validity. Please try again in a few moments. <laughs> it worked yesterday. Perfect. Perfect timing. Can it only be letters? Can I just? No, you can do uh, numbers. Good problem. It's just uh, not working at the moment, it looks like, which is perfect timing for this, of course. I just refresh the page, perhaps. Should I refresh it too? Yeah, well, yeah, you. Go ahead and refresh it. I'm not going to refresh it. Okay. 
Did the programmer you hired today already start working? <laughs> All right, all right. Well, that's too bad. Uh, we'll go to the next step. Just do the login part with the one I used yesterday. Okay, so yesterday, yeah, go ahead. So yesterday I used this, but I'll admit, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. So since I'm on a computer now, I would be more tempted to go with this. I don't know if it matters. Do I have to be consistent with what I chose originally? Well, let's uh, let's take a step back. When you got an account, what they did, and I'll walk people through this, is they gave you a, they checked your phone number to make sure you were real, sent you a code, and then you were able to get that account. And then what happened? If you remember, they gave you what you would maybe would call a password, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, did they give you multiple passwords? Don't show them on screen, but if you have another. Screen. I won't. They gave me, I think it was four passwords. Okay. Um, and then they said, um, save no. this somewhere. Don't share it with anyone. Okay. Um, so what I did is I copied it and put it in an email and emailed it to myself so I could always find it back easily. Okay. Is it, can you just email it to me directly or is that unsafe or something? Like, why do you make me say that? Usually that would be unsafe because then we would have a copy in our servers. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So I have to do that. I mean, eventually in the future, it would be nice to have a system where we could send it to you and, uh, and only you had access. Maybe it was a link to a site that would give it you access based on something that only you could have. You know, like, okay, well, this worked. It just had an easy clickable link that said, you know, download here and then you had a file. It okay. Just save somewhere. So, downloaded a right. file and you have that file still. You didn't lose it afterwards? Yes. Okay. No, because I emailed it to myself so I couldn't lose it. Okay, so you've got that on the other screen, maybe pulled up. So, you're about to log in. You've already explained that. Uh, you think there are four options, and I realize that that's a mistake because there's only three options except the top one is just if you're using chrome or you're using firefox it's to install extension okay and we don't yeah. even see that this is an extension so or a browser so that's a problem you don't know you didn't know automatically that that meant an extension right or did you uh no even though i assume since it mentions chrome and firefox i assumed yeah it was something like that um well but then the bottom two parts i don't know does that require me to download another program is that just they, they both do not so that's maybe okay. something we can say these two do not require a download Okay, go ahead and try Peak Lock because that's our product. Okay. So, um, and go ahead and add your account. If you go back, actually go back for a second. Okay. Hit Peak Lock. Um, would it be helpful if, does that, does that make sense with what we're telling you here? Account names and corresponding keys are stored in your browser. Keys are never sent over any network. I'm kind of like, whatever this is for the programmers. <laughs> okay. I'm just like, I'm just looking to log in. <laughs> okay, uh, it's too much. Maybe some of this. Yeah, it's kind of like, I'm just gonna assume that you making this product safe to use, you don't have to tell me it's safe to use. Okay. 
So some of this is in an advanced section and people maybe that are only really concerned would have to click on it to actually see. And then we should give you the exact things that anyone would need to know, like, like, um, yeah, like, yeah, well, like Facebook and Instagram, you just log in and it's right there, bam, yeah. you know, like no one is gonna be like explaining to you how it's, yeah, but maybe some people who are into I mean, this. The sort one of thing. big explanation is that every, every browser that you use, you'd have to set it up. Okay. So that's why you set it up yesterday on your phone and now you're setting it today on your computer browser. Oh, uh, I see. That's probably okay, so that you need, right? And when it count is unlocked on the malicious extension of program, cooking next store cases will trade for other semixes. Okay. Why okay, so that's why I have to add an account instead of just log in. Yeah. Oh, log in, add it. Okay. So can I go ahead and click? Yeah. So type in your account name, which is fine to put there, and then when you type in your post, when you copy paste your posting key, um, it should be hidden, so it's not bad. Okay, so it has to be the posting one because I got four ones. Ah, yes, good job. Okay, there we go. And I think. It was this. Uh, sure, you can say, or should I not have to save it? Is that not a smart thing to do? It won't really, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Okay. This one is where, okay, do I have to type it again now? That the posting key does very little. It doesn't have access to your money. So it's not really the end of the world if even if someone had access to your posting key. Okay, why did I just have to type my pin code twice? Uh, because one, you were creating it and the other one you were using it. Oh, uh, okay. All right. So I can tell him, tell the developer either we need to be more specific that for the first pin code time. They, I thought I already created it yesterday. So yes. I thought the first time I was already just. Yeah. Yeah. Either we need to be more specific that the first pin code time they were creating it, and the second they were using it to log in, or do it twice. Okay. All right. Now you're in. What did what, what did you do? What did you do first yesterday? And maybe one of your first questions that you had. Uh, first, I created a profile. I'm like, I went up here. I went to profile. I just added a photo and well, go, go background. The What'd you do? How did you find your profile? I like, just. So it was pretty natural to go to the top right hand corner and see profile. Yeah, I just started like looking at this, like seeing what's up here, what's up here, what's up here, and then I clicked this. I'm like profile. Okay. Um, so I'm like, let's start there. And I just added a photo and a background. It was a little bit on a different screen. It's kind of positioned a little differently, but. Okay. Um, and I felt like every page I went, it would say, looks like there is nothing here yet. <laughs> um, which is true. So then I realized, okay, I guess I need to add something, but how do I add something? Like, and? Can you do, can you do like pop-ups that say like to add content, go to whatever oh. or click here. Okay. So instead of just saying, looks like there's, let me uh, do my notes, login process, onboard process, and now we're into what to do now process. Yeah. Because. I was trying yesterday, but I still haven't figured it out <laughs> to add content because so, there's still nothing here yet. Instead of looks like there's nothing here yet, we could say add something. <laughs> yeah, add content by, I don't know, to add content, go to 
whatever, where or whatever it's called. Okay, so we can say add content to your blog or a community. But then how do I do that? Like, well, we, help we would you... click the button and then it would go directly to creating a blog. Oh, okay. Yeah, if it's a button, that would work. Yeah. So and you don't know like... where, how to add content right now. No. <laughs> it is up in the top right hand corner. It's that one with the with the pencil. Over on the no, not on that drop down. Over on the left of it. Oh. Okay. Okay. I I never even got that far. I just clicked all of these and I start clicking around here. And then I found a search field somewhere, and I started searching things, and I think I tried to follow a few things. Okay, so I need to go here. Mm -hmm. But that's if I create my own content. Yeah. Oh, is this my page? Is this where I would create? Is that what this is? Yeah. I see. Okay. I thought I'm just going to start following some other people so that so let's I kind of there. get an idea of what. You don't have to post it, but you can start maybe a draft. Okay. And we'll see if you have any questions there. So there's drafts, templates, schedule posts. So then this one is just from scratch without a template? Yeah. Okay, let's try with this. You have no Ooh. templates. So you probably just want to create a. Oh, would I have to create my own? Okay. Create a post. Write a new post. Oh, okay. I'm staying quiet so you can tell us your uh, observations or thoughts. So it's kind of like the software I used for my CV, where you code on the left and then it shows what it looks like on the right. So. Okay, all right. So if it would be a blog, Hi world. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi world. That's actually a big key example. That's hi world. Um I can image. Okay, all right. How about this is me and my friend. Oh, you took this photo! <laughs> It was just one of my first photos up there. Okay. There you go. Look at this. There we go. Uh, that's summer. All right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, it's funny because it's giving you a spell check because you usually write in Dutch. Oh, yeah. So this, okay, yeah. So this spell check. <laughs> True. <laughs> so this is not a word in Dutch. So, yeah. Uh, sorry, let's go start before. And is that how you spell it in English? Yeah. All right. Is that enough for now? Yeah, let's not post it per se, huh. but so let's cut it short here. Good, good post. Okay, so now what do you? Think. Uh. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay. Forever. Okay. Yes. Description. There. Okay. Um, travel, I guess. For me, it was travel. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Don't use numbers or operate case letters. Okay, sorry. Travel. Okay. And now, okay, so this is how this would work. Okay. What is looking at? Exploring all the different options. Got it. What? Snippets? Uh huh. Oh. Okay. That's for later. You don't need a couple of random emojis in there. Why doesn't that work? It does it. The emojis don't work. <laughs> Bad. How about it if I do something like this? I don't use them very often. I don't okay. Know. It's fine. It's fine. Well, now we know it doesn't work for for you. Okay. All right. So this is how I would make my own post in my own blog. That's how you think about it in your own mind. Okay. So maybe. That's good. There's not much I can really add. It seems like you did a decent job. Uh, the one worry that yeah, I have for new users is the the image thing where uh, we don't, um, well, that it has this long URL instead of the picture, you know? So that could be confusing to some people, but you handled it fine. Uh -huh. I didn't necessarily think that was confusing, but maybe some people. Yeah. You know, it'd be nice if you could resize it. That's a future sort of thing, perhaps. But hmm. anyways, go ahead and just save draft. It all is always always kind of save draft. Now you can just leave and we could go somewhere else and you could tell me about some of your other questions you had yesterday. The authority in your settings. Okay, this is if I would like want to schedule for it to be posted later. Yes. Okay. Publish, publish. Why can't I publish it? Why not? You don't have a title. Okay. Um. No, I could. Okay, I see. Oh, well, why doesn't? Could it tell me like? You can't publish it yet until. Yeah, I'm right at it now. Not if I would be looking forever, like, why can't I publish it? Can we tell them why we aren't allowing them? Title, topic. The, the two things that you would need is a title and a topic. Okay. Or because you have a bad, you have an uppercase letter being used or something to that effect, you know? In your top, mm. yeah. So you don't search forever. It's like once you know, you know. But before you know, you could be looking forever. Yeah, exactly. I like this. I like that it says how long it takes to read, how many words. I noticed that yesterday. I was at, as I was going through, trying to find out how how it all worked, and I found some other posts. I'm like, oh, that's actually a nice feature. Before you start reading something, that you kind of realize that you know, like how detailed this is going to be, or how long it's going. To Okay. Hey, okay. I have something going on here. Okay, go to it, I guess. Activities. Someone mentioned me yet a day ago. Okay, can I just click it? Is this just because I made an account yesterday? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Oh, tips. There's actually tips here. 
We can browse in dark mode. Okay. Uh, I'm good for now. All right. So you this want is how we number, don't you? I want to what? You want to get rid of that notification number, don't you? Yeah, it would be like, okay, I saw it, so now it can go, right? There. Did you just click that? You're good. Okay. I would click this. Figured it out. Good. In the meantime, I'm also going to do something real fast while you are doing that. Okay, so I think then I probably went to explore speed. Or maybe I went to something like this. Where where where'd you go? My communities? One of these. I think I started up here, like all topics. Okay. It's like explore. I'm like, oh, that sounds like something I need to do. And and I went to all topics, and then the first few things I saw, I, I was kind of like, what is this? You know, it just happened to be topics that I didn't necessarily relate mm -hmm. to, but that is probably a coincidence, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So then, and I didn't really get some of these things. Oh, I must say this looks kind of different on a computer than it does on a phone. Yeah. This is a lot better, which makes sense, of course. Okay, so, but I think what I ended up doing is it was, I went to most viewed, because I figured that would be a good start. And, and since it, it happened to be a lot of topics that I was kind of like, mm, I need to be able to, I should, well, this is cool. Oh, you took this. <laughs> That's really cool, actually. Um, and then I realized, okay, how about I need to like start searching for search words that maybe I wouldn't be interested in. So that's what I figured I needed to do instead of just scrolling through endless content, hoping I'd find something I would like, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. Um, so then... It looks like you added three communities. I did. I like, I somehow got somewhere and I was like, uh, okay, maybe this. I think I saw... I think it photography I added I thought I added that first. Yeah. And then and then I saw food and travel. I'm like, yeah, that sounds like my thing. And what do you add it to your list? Yeah. So I just and I think I clicked this and had some cool things. I'm like, sure, I'll try it out. And that's how far I got. Okay. okay. This actually looks cool like this. Again, it's kind of like Pinterest sort of thing. Yeah. I like this. Okay, so here's an interesting thing. This view, the Peaked has three different view styles. Power okay. Creatives community has defaulted their community to have this view style. Your default on your on all your other is set to another view style. Okay, um, so if I would go to one of the other communities. Yeah. Okay, so now it's like this. Because this community has it set up for this view style. Now go up to top, go up top. Okay. You look on the right hand corner where next to where it says recent. Uh, yeah. Those three symbols represent the different view styles. Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. Does it make sense or how it already it is? Yes. I mean, I wouldn't find it immediately, but I guess eventually at some point I would be like, what's this? And then, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Not, this is not a... You like this uh, view style better. Maybe this view style you would love to see be the default. Um, because you see more at once and it's like easier. Oh, I remember this one. I really like this one. 
Um, yeah, can you see more at once? Uh huh. So I like this because then it, you'll just be faster to find something you appreciate. But then, I mean, I guess this does more justice to whichever photo you would be looking at without distractions. Um, let's try this one. Oh, this is a small photo and more text. Um, I like bigger photos. I think a photo says a lot and does a lot. Yeah, I mean, especially since this it's a community that's based on photography. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good point. So, okay, so this one happens to be photography, but I guess there could be other communities that are more about writing. So then it would be more text and less photos, or no? Right. It's all kind of based on photos. Yeah, there are ones that are about writing, so they wouldn't have as much. Okay, so then, you know, it could make more sense that, oh, although this is kind of like a newspaper, it would have different articles, I guess. Okay. So okay, you, so then, right. well, it says unsubscribe now, but yesterday it would say subscribe. Yeah. I don't remember how I found these, probably through here. And I just, okay, yeah, so this was another thing. I was up here and I'm like, okay, there's a lot here. Um, but based on this, I don't know if I would be, in, I wouldn't know if I would be interested other than by the title and like their little image. So I'd have to, so what I started doing is click things like gems, like what kind of gems, what's that? Is that, uh, is that referring to something I don't know? Is that a, a term? So I just start clicking something and I'm like, I don't know, this is not, I don't really see anything that's immediately interesting here. So I just go back and then just try another one. I'm like, okay. So is this interesting? I don't know. No, not no, right no, away for me. So I, I just started. Yeah. I just started clicking random ones that I thought, okay, maybe this one. Okay, maybe this one. Yeah. So that's how I found the photography one, and then I found, you know, the three ones up there, and then I figured, instead of just like clicking every single one of them to see if I would be interested in scrolling forever. I'm just going to like try to search ones that I like. So probably, oh, okay. So it, here it is um, on a computer. And then I probably type like, I think what I tried was fashion or something. And uh, I could see and then it would be more. Oh, wow. Okay, I definitely recommend doing this on a computer, not on a phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there are certainly things we could uh, improve on the on the phone experience, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I, I can see how that's not the first priority, but in the end, I feel like a lot of people are on their phones these days, right? So, like, there's not a whole lot here, so I think when I try something else, Yeah, and then I just kind of went off, and uh, and then I think I tried. What else did I? Jewelry, I think. Well, spelling it correctly would be good. Uh, how would you spell it? Jewel like this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's fun watching, just kind of watching someone interact in general, seeing what they do. Yeah. So then these are all. Okay, so these are all different people that happened to post something. And then I, I guess I added the topic of jewelry to it. And that's why it appears here. Is that true? Uh, well, you are in communities and not topics, so they specifically added oh, okay. this community itself. So topics, okay. uh, if you were to go to explore, you could have topic options. 
Okay, so I think I did both for a little bit. I tried communities and I tried topics. Um, you don't know how to get to a new topic, do you? We don't have that option, to be honest. Yes, not so. You found one. You found one. Obviously, my recipe. Yeah, I, I did something. Favorited it. You found out how to do that. You hit the star button next to my recipe. And that yeah, I think I was just trying things out. Like, how does this work? How do I do this? Okay. But then let's do post. Okay, so if I then the awesome photography. But I found that by searching for something. Yeah. How do I search topic? Just yeah, there isn't presently an awesome way to do it, but Okay, so because here's this. That's to search a community. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not here. Yeah. So that okay. needs to be done. I've added that to a to do. So then how did I find this? Or was that just a coincidence? The regular the regular search men the regular search. Here? Yeah. Oh, why is it? You don't need to search your username. Why is it there? I don't know. Okay. So if I would put recipes here. Okay, and I'm just gonna click something that has To be honest, search is very much in our to-do list for things to do, is to redo the search user interface, so. We don't have to go through that too much because it's so far from what we want it to be that giving feedback on that is not going to be too helpful because we're going to improve it fastly. So, but I also notice if you go to your profile, yeah, um, you are following one person, so you figured out how to do that. <laughs> so, what would you do there? Food creator. You found someone called food creator. Do you see there though that their last post was in 2018? I see it now. I don't think I realized it. Yeah. You, you don't have to follow them because they're not posting anymore. Okay. I probably just clicked it like, oh, I need to start following things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could give you a suggestion. Type in the search um, J A R V I E. <laughs> What's a Jarvi? It's a me. It's a me. It's not a me. Yeah, it's a what to do here? Okay. Ah, the follow button. Good choice. Follow you. Here. Don't mute me. Oh, I'm gonna add you to favorites and stuff. Perfect. Yeah, this is like beyond what I understand right now. Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, the other stuff? Like all this stuff. I'm like, send what? Delicate what? <laughs> oh, the bottom stuff. That is yeah. what? <laughs> Okay, so um, advanced actions. Well, let's call them advanced actions so that you know. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of divided in like, this I understand, this not quite yet. Okay, perfect. But maybe I will. Yeah. I mean, it takes a lot to use something for a little bit of time. And then you get the basics and then you can start like, Playing with the extra features. Okay. Oh. So, one of the other features that we're going to do, so I'm not too worried about the fact that you haven't found too much because, first of all, our search system isn't perfect yet. 
it hasn't even been updated in a while. It's you know on the list, but it had a couple of things to do first. So that's a case, but also we hope to do something that when you log in, like on many other sites, that it basically asks you what are your favorite topics? Like maybe you get to choose from a list, right? Click here, 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 and here. You like sports, you like fashion, you like travel, and then we can give you suggestions. So that is going to take a few different things for us to do to put it all together. So it's not going to be terribly soon, but, okay. but that's obviously the feedback is, hey, I signed up. I don't know what to do. I don't know where to find content that actually I enjoy. So I'm going to, why would I use this? Because I don't see anything I like. So, mm -hmm. but that's, you know, a big part of the feedback. So we will eventually, and then we could connect you with, um, you know, the hope is you tell us topics that you like and which it sounds like it was travel and food and um, photography, you know, and fashion. Travel, food, photography, and fashion are the ones that I, I basically saw. And so then we should be able to give you a list of, well, maybe um, topics to follow. Okay. Yeah. Unity, yeah. That may be of interest. Or give me suggestions. Yeah, means. so topics, communities, but also we could share badges, perhaps. And uh, what are what are the badges? I didn't get that far, but what are there's blogs, there's communities, there's topics. Okay, so would it help if I um, reworded badges? I suppose. I don't know, maybe it's something I just want, something you will understand once you start using it. That's fine, but what I don't even. Created list of users that Okay, I just wrote a new one. Tell me if this helps you. Badges are a curated list of users that have something that connects all, that connects them all. And then I could say, for example, a location or a general, or an interest. Uh, okay. So a badge, a badge is connected to the user, not so much to the post. Yeah, yeah, okay. So a curated list of users that have something that connects them all. For example, a location or a topical interest. Badges are created by users like you. Okay, so and help you the topics are to the post what the badges are to the users i guess yeah okay so but this is the, these are the badges yeah so utah hyper so these are all people from utah then yes I've been posting the last eight to ten months. Okay. Okay. Can I search badges? Why can't I like? Uh, no, not right now. Okay. That Coming. could be cool. Like Coming soon. If I could find other Europeans. Okay. Be able to search badges. I mean, as the badges list gets bigger, then obviously we want to help people <laughs> go through that list. Oh, yeah. People from Syria. 
Okay. All right, I think we're so, down to the the end per se. I I mean, yeah, I, we get the community, I, the topics, the badges, my profile. Uh, I, you go to your following feed now. So now there would actually be content here from all the people that yeah. you follow. Which is me. All of them. <laughs> yeah. All my best friends. <laughs> your own, I'm your only friend. Okay. All right. Also, did you notice anything about the top right hand corner? Yeah, I got another thing. I saw this just now. Oh, you followed me back. <laughs> I followed yeah. you before you followed me. Excuse oh, did you really? Wait, why isn't it going away? I thought I was supposed to click here. And then, oh, here. Yeah. Okay. No. Yeah. No, what do I click? You did it right. You. Clicked. Oh, I just took a second. Okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah. So where can I see? Oh, whatever I posted, that would be here. Yeah, you didn't post it. Remember, you didn't grab. Replies. Oh, all my replies. Okay. Connections. You. Subscriptions. Here, go to uh, go back to connections. And go to suggestions. I want to see what it says there. Oh, okay. Huh. Not yet. I'm following some more accounts. I guess following two accounts doesn't really help. <laughs> Actually, that suggestions may not be working uh, for the next four or five days as we fix work on something. So, okay. That is true. Uh, probably someone watching this in the future is like, oh, connections work just fine. Suggestions work. Yeah. <laughs> what's this? And what's this? Um, uh, yeah, good, good questions. That is the amount of, it's a, uh, financial aspect to the, to the site. It means that this user has 23,000 HP and HP stands for hive power. And it means that my vote value is worth 25 cents. Roughly, it, it tries to be equivalent to US dollars, but it doesn't always fit, so we don't actually put the US dollar number there. But roughly 25 cents is my vote value. Wait, so you get to like upvote and downvote polls yeah. and things whether you like them or not. Yeah. And then yeah. And then if people get a lot of votes they can make money on that. Is that how I see it? Yeah, go to my post so you can see. So if you click on me. And look at the bottom of my posts for that same symbol. Okay, this one. Yeah. yeah. So I roughly made what would be equivalent of forty-two dollars, but it's being split fifty-fifty, so twenty-one bucks. You know. Uh, who are you splitting it with, and why? I'm splitting with the people that actually voted. Okay, and is it always like that, or is that just how it was set up on that one? So I think what you're, what we could do there is put a, how does rewards work, and have that yeah. be a link, like a really small little clickable thing, like how does this, what is this, how does this work? Yeah, and then you can read up on it. Yeah, once you're ready for that. that tells you how that works. Okay, so this one just says author. So where are you at? Sorry, I didn't see. Oh, oh, okay. So this is just this one's not being split. It is already done. 
Oh, oh, pass. Okay, I see. So the other one, when you were on it, it said it was going to be, it's going to occur in four days. I, okay. This one. Already like some of those out. other ones, they've already occurred. Okay. And you got, I see, and that one's. Got, and is it always 50 50? Yeah. Okay. And then what's this? PT 5%. Yeah. Well, what did it say? Beneficiary? So what does that mean yeah. to you? I gave 5% to peak D. Okay. Because, hey, thanks and help, like, keep doing things to upgrade the system. And here's a Yeah, little, I see. A little, and is that automatic as well, or is that a choice? It's automatic. A choice. It's a choice. But then when, it, when the payout happens, it is automatic. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing I have to do. I made that decision when I created the post. And then, the, and then there's one more thing, tips, and then three hive. Yeah. Hive is the name of a token of a currency. And uh, someone gave me a tip. Oh, it's a tip. Oh, a tip as in, okay. All right. I thought like a tip as in advice. Yeah. Okay. No, just a money tip. Okay. Someone gave me a present. Which what we're going to do with you when you create a post. Um, and our suggestion is to create a post and use the topic um, introduce myself or introduce yourself. I can't remember. Can you do a search for introduce myself okay. or introduce yourself? I can't remember. One word. Yeah. Okay. There it is. You can see some examples here. These are people introducing themselves on Hive. Okay. If you do a post like that, introducing yourself, and then uh, Peaked account will send you a tip for helping us. You're doing work. So we're looking at this dude who's introducing himself. A couple pictures and some words and then people. Okay, and then people can comment, okay. Yeah. And then does it always, okay. Does it always just give the time in the GMT time zone? Uh, no, that's that's your time, isn't it? Mm, I'm GMT plus one, but that's all right. But what time is it there? It's 11.17 right now. So that's totally off. Yeah, but this was posted five hours ago. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. So. Wait, wait, wait. So, so that would make sense. So that is the correct time. That would be 11. No, that would be nine. I don't yeah. Know. It's two hours off. But then. No, it should be fine. I don't know. Yeah. OK. All right. That's all right. You could go to something that that posted recently and double check. Bookmark. There are so many things we always to save things like what's the difference between the star and the bookmark? A favorite and a bookmark. So you can favorite topics and you can favorite um yeah, okay, good good feedback. I'll think through that. But the answer is you can favorite a person and you can favorite a topic and you can um yeah. Bookmark a post. You can bookmark a post. But I'm not I'm not gonna go over that too much because we're actually gonna change that. And it's gonna be okay. something called collections. And so you can add a post to a collection. Okay. I figure, I think I would figure that out if I use it more. Yeah. So now Just you're in. A lot at once, yeah. Now you're in settings. Yeah, she's like clicked it because I thought. So. Try out the dark mode. I think we 
probably have plenty to give feedback to the to the developer. Okay. And I wanted to do this with some more users, but I may wait until we've gone through some of the changes for from your feedback. Okay, so you wouldn't have to, you wouldn't get the same questions. Yeah. Badges and awards. Okay, so I got the badges part. What's awards? Just things, awards that you got from this, from HiveBuzz account. How do you get awards? Oh, okay. All right, this is like playing a game. Okay. First post. See the right. other awards. Okay. Well, this was fun. <laughs> I'm gonna look for more content. Oh, different. Here's another good one to follow: is S V five. S V and number five. Yeah. Is that your sister? <laughs> That's my sister? She's a way better blogger than she's one of the best on the whole website. Like I may be a little bit biased, but I still think so. Like, like, yeah, in an unbiased way. She's one of the best. And then she has a link. Okay, you can just add a link. You can just add a she link. Besides for yours, okay. Other thing you want. Yeah. But she's just her blog posts are the some of the best written and formatted and just interesting posts. She writes about okay. art and travel, art okay. history, in fact. Okay, then she has, are and these her right. badges? And so those are the badges she got, yeah. Let me see, okay, this is, this helps. If I can see like an account that's already kind of put together, Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, okay, so this is what I'm supposed to do, and this is how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So these are all her awards. How long has she been on here? Well, I mean, she got an award for being on for two years. Oh, okay. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy second birthday. Oh, okay. That's that. Those are okay. Let's see. Two years in the high blockchain. Well, you'll get a few more uh, ones as soon as you do a first post. I guess you'll get a first post award. Yeah. Yeah, check out one of her posts just to see a good example of a really nicely done post. Ten out of ten. All right. So she added some interesting aspects, but has the pictures nice and big. Sometimes she'll put this picture side by side, do that little line break thingy. Okay. Well, and I have it set to dark mode now, but. Oh yeah. Light mode differently. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow. She got close. Or has like a good camera. Oh, they were close. They got very close to us. Were you there? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Go ahead, write and it. What's the number reputation? It's just a gamified number, like, hey, you did a lot. A lot of people voted on your stuff, and your number goes up. I see. So you start, you're at 25 right now, and it'll go up pretty rapidly up to 40, 50. And then when you get to the 60s, it will take sometimes months to go from 61 to 62. Like I've probably been on, she'll probably be on 70 for like three, four months now, you know? Okay. You can, uh, 
practice and comment on some comment on a post mine or hers or whatever and then we'll kind of finish up around that point so that would be this yeah. Sarah without an H, right? Yeah. Yes. That error thing is just temporary. It's going to be fixed soon. So okay. there wasn't actually an error. That's the point. We need to get rid of it. <laughs> you can make someone a beneficiary of if anyone votes on your comment. <laughs> I can okay, so you can also make hive money for commenting. For yeah, so for example, valuable comments. I'm gonna go and look at the comments that you made. You said awesome, Sarah. And now I have given it your comment in upvote. So if you refresh your page. And go find your comment. Long post. <laughs> Would it be at the bottom or at the top? Okay, there it is. Uh, well, I guess it didn't show up yet. You have to refresh maybe again. <laughs> okay. uh, wait. Because I already, I did upload it. Okay. It's up higher now because it ranks itself based on voting. Oh. So I moved up your your comment to the top. Oh, because it has a heart by Jarvie. Mm -hmm. nice. Okay. And then uh, one other thing I guess I could show is I'm going to go to actions. Mm -hmm. and I'm going to send you some money. And Peak D will also send you some as well. But for now, actually, it should just come from them. I'm going to How did your sister figure it out? Did you just walk her through? Did you just like sit down with her, like, do this, do this? Or did she just really just take her I time? I learned yeah. from some other people a lot, I think. Um, OK, so the Peak D account is going to send you temporary bonus for helping and what can i use that for we're probably going to also send you another one as a tip to your first post for helping okay it just sent so you should get a notification a new notification i think yeah, or maybe it doesn't send a notification no it should send a notification for this you can go to your wallet as one thing. Activities. You need to go to your wallet. You were almost there. Yeah, yeah. I was just. Oh, you're just looking at things. Okay. Yeah. So now. So here's my. So now you have 20 high tokens. Okay. So you go to the you go to the bottom and you can see that your wallet is now has an estimated value of two dollars. Two dollars and eighty-five cents even. And eighty five I'm so sorry. And eighty-five cents. One thing that uh we suggest is the amount of so this hive power is that you have greater voting power, you have more resource credits to do transactions. So one thing you can do, and I'd like to show this maybe so anyone watching still would be able to see it, is go to your Hive tokens to the drop down next to your Hive tokens. Yeah. Hive tokens drop down. Yeah. So. There's a drop down next to your hive tokens. So you see your hive tokens, it says 20. That's the name. Oh, here. Tokens. Your hive tokens okay. are right there. So you could power up. Okay. 
Okay. You can also send some to me, to anyone, you know. You can mm -hmm. tip money, but you can power up some of that 20, which I sent that for partly so that you have more ability to use the blockchain more. So you can power up 10 of that or something, 15 of that, even five of that. Okay. I'll just do what you tell me to. Yeah. It's your active key. Okay, I'm trying to get that. Because you are now doing something that involves money. That means you can't use your posting key. You have to use the active key, which means that the posting key really, it's not the end of the world if someone steals that. Like, who cares, right? What are they going to do? Write posts for you to make you money? But if someone steals your active key, they could take all that money from you. I see. You don't want them taking your two dollars and eighty-five cents. No, I mean you gotta eat. <laughs> you know what? Like to, we joke about it, but for some people in parts of the world, that is a, a decent amount of money. One of our highest used, um, one of our most, the country that uses this the most, the second most, is Venezuela. Really? Yes, because their money system is gone to hell in a handbasket. And so these sorts of earnings are decent. I'm not saying yeah, yeah. 10 or 20 hive is like a crazy amount to them, but it's certainly a lot more valuable to them than it is to us. Yeah. By many people, not just twice as more valuable to us. To them it's probably four or five times more valuable to them so so this is real money I understand that part so if you are really good at posting a lot and commenting a lot and yeah adding to the, the communities and whatever then you can make real money but where does the money come from <laughs> well that's more of an advanced question that but if you want the technical answer is that the Hive blockchain is giving it as rewards to all of our users, right? So. Why, what's in it for them? Um, like, are there commercials? Or? No, what they do is they have a, these tokens, Hive, and uh, there's 300 million of them that are presently in existence. And every year that goes up by 8%, that inflates. So it's okay. like, country, your country and, the, and my country, United States, create new money each year. They print it, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and they determine where it goes. Well, the hive determines that, uh, you know, a portion of that, roughly around 60% of that, will go to bloggers presently. That's presently their stance is that that money will go to bloggers. And that it's given to those that get votes. So when I vote on you, it's going to that part of the today's um, rewards is going to go to you because I voted on you. Okay. So, so is there anything I can do with the money in PD or is it just money that you know promote your post? You can promote your posts and we don't have a lot of uh, features to, to spend your money, but promoting posts is one. You can also use other applications, like there's some games out there that use this money. Okay, and by promoting a post, you mean, you would mean I would pay for it to be more visible and get more followers. Yes, uh-huh. And then one final thing that you, a lot of people may do is they may send this money, this hive, to an exchange. An exchange does what? Well, it exchanges one thing to another thing. So it, one thing called Hive may become another thing called the US dollar. But you would use, what do you guys use over there? Euros. Euros, that's right. The so, mindset to use dollars now, is that just by default or is it always in dollars or can I change it to euros? Um, it's kind of defaulted now. We do have hopes to change it, but just isn't hasn't happened yet. 
so to give you an option to, to i mean i don't know if i could but right now it's kind of this because since that Flowers is, is fine. Weird. okay so yeah an exchange would allow you to exchange your hive for us dollars or to euros obviously there are exchanges that have but most people would exchange hive to like bitcoin or something like that okay i mean and i've just never really keep it there mm -hmm. and don't worry about it until it actually is a decent amount to worry about i'm not <laughs> I wasn't going to, but I don't even know how. To, well, I guess I could figure it out. Well, let's say I, I'm going to start making millions on this because I'm going to no, make awesome blogs. No, probably not. <laughs> okay, but even okay. I guess these are the more technical questions. But if I would get to the point where I don't know, I made a thousand dollars or a hundred, I'm just saying something, right? Just theoretically. And if I want to take it out, I don't even know how would that work. Like, do I? Yeah, you would read or watch a video on how to do that. Okay, sure. So, this definitely. All right. Well, this is cool. I feel like you got a lot further now. Yeah. You know where to find things. Okay. I know how to add things. Um. Yeah. Good. And this is worldwide. Yeah. Okay. You were very good with the keys. You kept them um, in a in a you know you you didn't lose them right away, and you knew how mm -hmm. when they were asking for posting, you're like, oh, okay, I got to go over here and grab this one, and then when asked, yeah, I still have them open in my other screen. That's all right. <laughs> Perfect. I think that's that's it. I mean, obviously, it's a long recording if someone's still watching, but if they're watching, oh, you can cut out the more interesting parts and the less interesting parts. Yeah, I won't do any of that work. I will just put it up full. <laughs> but okay. here's one that has made it to the end here. What should we have them do? Because Pete will send them a tip for having watched it. I mean, we'll vote maybe if they comment. We'll give them a vote. How about that? Or something to that effect or tip okay um uh, but what should we have them do what should we have them comment can you help me decide uh which should be their challenge or or thing that they need to do they can all follow me <laughs> I could follow her. I have no posts yet. <laughs> um, yourself, or give me a recommendation. I don't know. <laughs> um, one thing that they learned, just write one thing that they learned from this video. Yeah, sure. And then if you follow, if you follow Judith's account, JJ Sienna, she will tip you <laughs> from the money that we gave her. That you just gave me, so share. <laughs> we'll be giving her more for helping. Until I run out of the two dollars and eighty-five cents. <laughs> we'll, we'll be giving you some more from for doing this. So, okay. There you go. If you tip her and comment on her new <laughs> post, she's going to give you a tip. There you go. Oh, fun. And then you can help me how to do tips. Oh, well, I guess it was with the wallet thing. And then I just did oh, no, the go to, go to like someone's, uh, Here, go to someone's post. Okay, well, let me tip someone and see how that works. Yeah, yeah, go to, go to, go to mine. <laughs> I'm just joking. Or go, to, to, <laughs> go to my sister's. That's more fun. Yeah, maybe I'll get your sister. That would be, what was it again? What was her? It's S Jarvie 5. I mean, you could just go to your feed, and she's one of the two people. I mean, <laughs> that's right. That five, means... But six. Oh, sorry. Six. Uh, five. There we go. She's one of the couple people you follow. So, so how do you think? Okay, so I, I like this. So I could just go to this post, I guess. Does it have to be per post? Yep. Well, you can send her money but a tip 
is for an action. So, yeah, that um, makes sense. So, so I'm not in the post, but is this not the right place to do it? You're there. It's there on the screen somewhere. I'm letting you find it. Okay. All right. All right. How do you send a tip? Yeah, that gives me a good idea. Maybe we should make that more visible. Do I go to the bottom? Is it one of these things? And then there's a heart, there's like star, there's a bookmark, there's a heart. Oh, and you can also send a tip. But then I had to heart it first. Oh, that's a vote. Oh, a heart is a vote. Okay. Feel free to vote her. Yeah, I just I clicked the heart. Oh, okay. This is well, this is how I vote her. Yeah. Well, I score it. Okay, I'll just give it give her a hundred. You didn't do it yet though. Oh, okay. You actually have to hit the button. Uh, All right, it. I just did. Okay. Just vote it. So ah, here's the tip. But okay. But would I have found it if I didn't? You found it. I didn't say anything. That's true. But I have another suggestion that we could possibly do to make it more visible as well. Oh, big money here. Big money. Sending two. You don't have any Hive back dollars. You just have Hive. Oh, there's two different ones? Yeah, there's two different okay. currencies. Actually, there's ways to send Bitcoin as a tip and a couple other cryptocurrencies. But because you don't have any Bitcoin in your wallet, obviously we can't, you can't use that to tip with. Okay, so now I can only use this, but if I have Bitcoin, okay, all right. So this is, this is how many hives I would? Yes. So what's normal? What's a good amount or what? Well, normal, a lot of people will just send one. <laughs> one? Okay. I mean, you can send half of one. You can send any, you can send 0. 0.00. I love you. Is that weird? Is everyone going to see this or just her? Everyone will see it. Okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't be so creepy then. <laughs> I love your post. Great. Oh, Sarah. Okay. All right. Now, what are you going to do? Confirm? Yeah. Makes sense to me. Makes sense to me, too. Oh, my active key. Why is that? Because it's acting. There's the money. Money is involved. Did I do it? Oh, that successfully sent. Boom. Done money in her account. You could actually go okay, to her. I'm, I'm the only one that gave her a tip. Is that why there's yeah. a one now? Yeah, people are cheap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you can also downvote. You can be like, that was dumb. Sad day, huh? Um, <laughs> but why would you downvote something unless it's like if you th don't think that she deserves 33 dollars for this post oh because that's what she's making okay. so basically what what it's what it's saying is i am a s stakeholder like if you owned a if you own stock in something you get to vote and so you're mm. voting and you have a seven day period to vote on something and you get to say, I think this is earns this much, but you as a stockholder also have the right to say, no, I don't think it's worth this much. And I am a stockholder, a stakeholder, you know, so there's, mm -hmm. and, and so your voice should be able to be heard on the opposite way. Cause some people may um, kind of abuse it. Like, uh, there's been cases in the past where it's like, um, I'm going to pay someone to vote on my post. And so everyone else is like, yeah, no, 
okay, you can do that, but we're just going to downvote you for doing that. Hmm. Okay. Or someone upvotes their own post, which you can do, and let's say it's a lot of money that they upvoted their own post, and you're like, okay, you can upvote your own post, but I'm going to downvote it by the same amount that you upvoted. So it's just the same. Okay. Yeah. There is some drama whenever people downvote, they get upset, but what needs to be ref recognized is that it's there's a seven day period where everyone gets to turn okay. up or down. And it's not until the seven day period is over that money is actually distributed, that it's actually finalized. So you're not taking away money, you're just putting your vote in and it's a seven day voting period. Okay. So I can just go in here and start voting around on things that I like. Yeah. And people can make little yeah. bits of money on it, but it doesn't even cost me anything. The money yeah. just comes from somewhere else. Yeah, and your vote is worth basically nothing. Because I'm not worth a lot yet, or because yeah, one person doesn't have do all that. High power. You have ten. Okay. Power, and if you look at like mine, for example, is twenty three thousand. Okay. But you still hit the heart button and that number did go up, so people can be happy about that. Yeah, because I like the picture of the goat too. I just told you. <laughs> and then I saw that and I'm like, yeah, I know, right? That was that's cute. There you go. <laughs> okay, so we did this. I think this is a really good start. Done. We just need to find you some good stuff to follow and done. For you to write some stuff and for people to yeah connect. you can write your uh i'm following you so when you write a post introducing yourself or whatever you want if you it all makes so much more sense to me now i you, still don't know why i need to know what a blockchain is because i don't i don't know if i'm using it do you though i don't think so far you don't but am i going to need to know, know all the technical part at some point or do you just like no, I mean, if you wanted to, you could go into it, but I don't know. I guess we could do a follow-up eventually. People okay. write in the comments if they want to follow up in, in X amount of time. But, I mean, right now you can create some content into different communities. So if you have a, a photography a uh, picture to share, a post to share, you could put that into the photography community. What other communities did you follow? A travel one or something? Like travel food and photography. Yeah, yeah so if you uh, cook something and you you want to do a food post, put that. Actually, I can post my paella yeah, that I made. There's only 22 subscribers in this one. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, that's another thing I noticed. Some of them aren't all that big yet. So how do I find the big ones? Yeah, go I to communities again. All communities and and first so, in the list are the ones that are the biggest. You can see the number that they have. Some of okay, them. Okay, so if I go for it, okay, but then foodies, foodies, that's the best one. That has nineteen hundred people. Yeah. Okay, but then this is seventeen and this is twenty five, but this is further down because no one has okay. actually yep. written anything in that one that's further down if you look at the second number it's oh, right. okay. Combination of in the last seven days there's been one comment or post in okay so this community in like the it. last seven days there's been 746 interactions wow yeah okay so this is really active Pending rewards, okay. Because these are all in the seven day waiting period. Yep, yeah. all $832 being distributed are in the seven day waiting period. Active users, subscribers, posts. Okay. Oh, wait, it's an owner. So there's an owner for the community. Mm -hmm an admin and a moderator, or there's multiple moderators? Yeah, they can add as many moderators as they want, just so you don't go in and put naked pictures up there or something. Okay, so, but I 
Could I post something in this and then the moderator has to approve and then it appears? Is that how it works? Uh, that's not how this community works. Uh, they can only disapprove. So you could put it there and then they have to go through and say no. Okay. So that could take it down after I posted it. Yeah. Okay. There's no pre, there's no pre approval process presently. Pre approval That's process. A tongue presently. twister. <laughs> pre approval process presently. All right. All right. We've gone way into the into it. I hope my video works. I hope it recorded. <laughs> I hope you're not gonna be tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow you're, you're going to tell me, oh, actually, it was a recording. Let's, let's do it all again and ask all the exact same questions. No, I'd have to do it with someone else, I'm sure. But uh, the stop recording button is still there. It seems like it's still working. I think I am going to stop recording. So everyone, okay. you still have that challenge to go into the comment of this post on Peaked and write something that you learned, and we will give you a tip. And then if you go to Judith's post and write a comment, she'll give you a tip. I will. There you go. We know how to do it now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. All right. Peace out, everyone. Um, this was fun. <laughs> we'll plan on doing this again once we have taken some of the suggestions and things that we've learned today and work with someone else. Uh, obviously, if you're watching this, then it doesn't really apply to you as much. But if you have a friend that you would like to introduce, that would be good on a video. And that would be kind of fastidious on like going through the process and writing down some uh, or you know, asking decent questions and saying what bothers them. Uh, let me know. Otherwise, I'll probably use another one of my friends. You want to say goodbye to cool. your new friends? Bye, new friends. Okay. Bye-bye.